Evergrande is the world's most indebted real estate firm, and it's been flooding its social media accounts with videos like this, showing that the company is back to work. Meanwhile, buyers and real estate vloggers are also taking to social media to complain about construction delays or that they haven't received their new homes. The Wall Street Journal examined these posts to understand why people are upset, even as Evergrande has been trying to fulfill pledges it has made to regulators to deliver more than one million pre-sold homes. If the company can't meet its obligations, consumer confidence could tank, rippling through the Chinese economy and potentially impacting the global economy. It has definitely turned from being that prestigious developer giant into something that everyone's concerned about. So we compare social media posts from people waiting for homes they've already paid for, and ones from Evergrande as it promises to do whatever it takes to deliver them. But first, here's how one of China's largest property developers ended up with so many stalled construction sites. Pandemic lockdowns had hurt the company's sales, and new government rules kept it from borrowing more money. Then this past summer, Evergrande said it was experiencing a cash crunch and construction at many of its 778 projects in 233 cities were halted. All across China, the company has offices and many have their own social media accounts on WeChat, one of the country's most popular messaging apps. We looked at content published by 20 of them between September and November. Most of the posts follow a similar pattern. First, the company says it's working hard to deliver homes and resume construction. Then, there are either videos or photos of workers returning to empty project sites. And testimonials from buyers who've signed contracts to move into their new homes. These homeowners are among the many urban Chinese who plow their savings into new homes. Collectively, they have nearly 78% of their wealth tied up in residential property. The property market in China is very important to its economy. Real estate activity accounts for roughly one-fourth of China's GDP, and a central concern for the government is making sure that people get the properties that they paid for. Economists and real estate agents in China say there's a lot at stake. Evergrande has an estimated 1.4 million pre-sold apartments outstanding. And if they aren't finished, many households could suffer painful losses, shaking confidence in the country's property market. And a downturn in the world's second largest economy could spread to other countries trying to bounce back from the pandemic. So Evergrande has to make this their priority as well. And the best way to deliver the flats is to find ways to resume construction. Local authorities are also helping out the company. Most of the cities with Evergrande projects have set up task forces to help manage the process and hired accountants to comb through their finances. In early November, Evergrande said it had handed over more than 57,000 homes between July and October. These announcements can give a bit of hope to buyers who are in a desperate situation of having poured so much money into these unfinished apartments they bought. This is probably just the beginning of this colossal process to restart uh, constructions at these unfinished sites, and many, many more are still waiting for their homes. And some of those waiting have been using various social media platforms to vent their frustration. We looked at 20 posts from buyers who said that construction appeared stalled or doubted they would move into their new homes on schedule. I do want to point out that some buyers have expressed relief uh, on social media about finally getting their homes and that others also have complained about water and gas leaks or even unfinished interiors. And people have seen empty construction sites. So how the company is going to turn around will be scrutinized by people because this involves something as intimate and as important to them as their homes. Evergreen has promised home buyers to deliver what they have paid for but there are also unfinished buildings with apartments that haven't been sold and a lower priority for the company. We looked at posts from real estate vloggers who review property sites and provide investment tips, and they've been doing their own inspections of Evergrande projects. This footage was filmed by real estate vlogger Hu Pei Chi. She went to this site called Evergrande City in Hohat, Inner Mongolia in November. A month earlier, the company posted photos of Evergrande City, and some more than 1,400 apartments across six buildings have been finished. This footage shows that about a month after that announcement, Evergrande City had other buildings waiting to resume construction. 
Evergrande says it's working with the government, and in early December, the government of Guangdong, the province where the company is based, said it will send a working group to help the developer work out its problems and maintain normal operations. Evergrande has around $20 billion worth of outstanding dollar bonds, and it's managed to avoid defaulting on them by making last-minute interest payments on deadline. For this video, the company declined to respond to requests for comment on specific instances of delay construction, the poor quality of some finished homes, and whether the company was aware of complaints on social media. So until the homeowners get the keys to the apartments they bought, they have social media to share their concerns with others and check on the progress of their homes.